High schoolers in northern New York were ballers and being shot callers, taking part of a game that was bigger than just scoring buckets in the hoop. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Eric Kerr. The Ballin' for a Cure tournament wrapped up day two at Beekman Town High School this weekend, where the championship featuring the host Eagles and the top 10 ranked Northeastern Clinton Cougars. But Saturday also served as a reminder to what these student athletes were playing for. The second edition of the tournament, paying respect to a former assistant coach for both NCCS and Beekman Town, where donations were collected for the Fitzpatrick Cancer Center. Now, paper airplane contest was also a part of the festivities, where the closest plane to center court received a prize raffle basket. Now, I didn't get too close myself, as you can see, pretty far off the mark there, but congrats to Olivia Hagedorn on the win. Her sister Carly actually helped me build my plane. Trust me, the start was not as you wanted to see. Push and pee. Push and pee. We know how good Palin Parliament is. You already know who she is. She's still knocking down buckets. Hand down, woman down, drains the three with the defender in her face, and then Grace McCaslin sets her up for another triple. She goes for a game high 22 points, but the Cougars, they were in sync all night long. Four passes, no dribbles, buckets. Callie Racine gets the and one right there. And then how about this pass? Pass, easy layup for Bailey LaFallon. Just beautiful basketball. That's all you can say. The tournament MVP, LaFallon goes for 16, helping the Cougars win the tournament and remain undefeated as they continue to build their resume as a ranked school. It's awesome. It's a good feeling. It feels like all of our hard work it might be paying off and just gives us hope for like later on in the season. We just do a lot of like scrimmaging and just like figuring out where each other are and like working on our passes and like a couple different plays. But a lot of the time it's just like, um, basketball IQ and like we don't really have set plays most of the time. All about that IQ. Well, let's take a look at the consolation game. Saranac Lake trying to live by their name as the Red Storm with this a downpour of threes at Beekman Town. How about Madison Moody Durant caller MMD makes the three and then same quarter Samara Sirakovic cooking. Makes three of her team high 16 points right there. It's 32 27 heading into quarter four but the Wildcats they would pull away. Caitlin Story nailing the insurance three-pointer, a storybook ending for Governor. They win the consolation by double digits.